What's up, YouTube? Today we're looking at some boots. These boots are this right here. The kit, the query. They're recraftable, meaning you can put. Actually, I'll talk more about it in a second. Um, Gore-Tex waterproof breathable, breathable lining, oil and slip resistant outsole. There is no safety toe or anything. Uh, Vibram soles. Gore-Tex, made in the USA, union made, size 10, double wide, because I got big feet basically. I, and I, my feet are weird, they're shaped like a triangle. I actually have a narrow heel and I think quadruple wide, um, like a, the pad across the bottom of my feet, or like behind my toes. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, and then we got this stuff. It is imported components or whatever. All right, very quickly, I realized this is not maybe an optimal point of view. However, I didn't really feel like uh, setting up something just to do a thing about boots where I'm constantly having to zoom in and uh, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna skip that part. I've also only wore these one time. So I mean, I might have them back on the channel at some point, just to talk about like what makes them good or where they fall short. Um, I will say though, I've tried them on, I've worn them a little bit and uh, like out and about a little bit. That's why I got these scuffs and stuff. And these things, I mean, you can feel it. Like the, this right here is very, very substantial. Also, Danner's make, uh, Danner makes great boots. Um, and these were 300 or so dollars. My current gig offers to pay like half of that. Although I don't think many people really take advantage of it. So I, of course, was like, you know. Heck yeah, let's fire it up. Um, they come with this little piece right here. Which you kind of see on loggers boots and stuff. Um, Danner's is nice. I mean, these are nice boots. Union made in Portland. I realize Portland isn't most, cons I'm not a conservative, most conservative's favorite places. So, I mean, it, 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 I get there's a bias, but if you're really that close-minded, Maybe you should just, I don't know, go to a country that is more authoritarian, like Austria or places where the left just totally isn't allowed. And But then unfortunately you won't be able to own firearms or weapons. So, And you might have to go to a camp with a bunch of your friends. Anyway, I kind of wish I had gotten some sort of composite toe. Um, the leather here is very substantial, but I, you know, it's just not the same. Although, uh, I, I kind of, you know, I have boots that are, have, uh, you know, a composite toe or steel toe. Um, the Doc Martin work boots that I'm wearing right now, they're discontinued or have that. They're also slip resistant, electrical, you know, all that stuff. I can walk onto a job site basically with them. Um, so these, I mean, not, they wouldn't work for that necessarily but um i got these because oftentimes running around i'll step into a puddle or i'm working outside and the water gets right here it gets into this area of the snow and then it melts into my boot and then my <laughs> feet are cold and wet that is not an optimal or ideal situation so this is gore-tex lined all the way up to here uh Right there. Sorry, I'm off camera a little bit. The triple stitching all around is very, very nice. This is restorable, meaning these get too jacked up. They can you can send them in, and for a little bit of money, they can redo that. Uh, as far as the upper, they can do a reconditioning of it, or you can send it in, and they will basically redo the entire upper, and I think the sole send it back to you. But it costs basically the price 
of a new pair of boots. That might be worth it to you though, if you are using these a very good deal and uh, you're like, you know, these are awesome. I never want to get rid of them. So that kind of thing is possible. Guy, I can't, I can't let it fly. I can't let it fly, guys. Probably because I'm former military, but it's just like, no, we will not be doing that. Um, the first thing I checked when I pulled these out of the box were the hardware because it is the weak point for many a boot and these guys are extremely thick they feel very sturdy um the eyelets are good to go there was a little bit of drag on one of them we're gonna see if it eats up any laces if so i could probably buff it out pretty easy using you know a, a tool or whatever i got lying around i have a bunch of tools by the way i just don't really show them on the channel because it's like I don't really use them anymore that much. I used to have my own motorcycle. I got stolen, but I used to wrench on it, do a bunch of stuff to it, take it apart, put it together. So it was always like, I just, I just never saw a point in showing the tools. I still don't really. Are these worth it? For $150, yes. For $300, maybe. Um, what is up market of this would be White's or white boots, I don't know which one it is, or Nick's or Nick boots, I don't know which one it is. Both of those are a little bit more upstream, Nick's being the highest uh, as far as what you're gonna get, what you're gonna pay, but then you're talking about five to $800, maybe four-ish if you if you got a, a deal and pick out. Um, they're more simple boots. And I mean, I it's, Maybe I'll get, I'm sure I will, I'll get some of those, you know, in the future. But for right now, I'm going to see how I like these, see if I think that they're worth it. I think that they will be, though. I mean, it's it's hard to talk about the feel of something in your hand. I get it. I mean, I did an okay job with, like, the Gillies um, knuckles because they. I get a certain specific feeling because it's in, I can see it. It's in my hand. These just feel really, really great around your ankles. There's a ton of support. These things aren't going anywhere at all, ever. And that is uh, something I appreciate. Um, whether or not you think that that is worth it, that having Gore-Tex and stuff and having a very nice sole to them. I think that there is a fiberglass shank in here. I'm not 100%, but uh, I'll show this information again. But yeah, if these interest you, check them out if you can go somewhere and try them on maybe do that if you try them on, i would caution you though if you try them on you're probably going to get them because they feel really 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 good and for 300 bones like if these last you three years and they're your main boots 100 bucks a year for really great boots that to me is totally worth it right like these could potentially last five maybe six years i do like the kind of openness of the tread um, I mean, it's called the qu the quarry boot, so I think they're trying to avoid getting a bunch of s stuff stuck in it, uh, which is always a real negative for me. I hate that. Um, I did treat these with Obanoffs, uh, like the, the leather conditioner. Um, they got a little darker, nothing crazy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going to apply any silicon spray to these or anything like that. Uh, as much as those things say, oh, and you have this, this will help you get them on. As much as those things say, like, oh, these won't clog the pores, I don't understand how they couldn't clog the pores. Also, is there a scientific study saying that spraying a, sil a layer of silicon in your boots will actually, like, leave the pores totally unclogged? I think that there's not, because maybe that could be a little bit of poetic license. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'm totally wrong. Feel free to correct me politely in the comments. Um... <laughs> But yeah, this is, uh, these are the boots. See, even with a little bit, of, they've got stuff in them. What is that? Lint. What is this? Dirt. All right. All right, we figured out. We figured it out. But yeah, and as far as what they look like top down, again, this isn't an optimal setup. My studio, quote unquote, is not big. 
and uh, I don't I don't know if it ever will be. I've tried, you know, setting up bigger studios or, or spaces for shooting video in the past, and it's always real hit or miss. But yeah, if you uh, if you're thinking about these guys and you can afford it, I'd say go for it. If these are going to be your work boots, if you're making monies in these, I would say if they're worth it. If these are just going to be a fashion boots, if you're not making money, you're making friends in them and because of your fashion boots and you wear them out to drink, I don't know. I don't know if that would be worth it to me, but maybe to you, you know, you're real fancy. Um, I am, like I said, this is how much I like these, what goes on with them as far as, because this is the farthest I've been up market for boots. Um, I have already decided for me, I think Danner bought white or whites or whatever it is. I know Danner did actually. And unfortunately, I have heard that the quality of that, that company has suffered, unfortunately. I mean, uh, God, I love it when I hit this stand. So if I go up further to say a five to $800 boot, um, I will probably be looking at NYX. I will also, though, I will say the Omaha Boot Company, I think it's called. Uh, I know if you Google it, it'll come up. They make all kinds of cool stuff to fit, um, really nice. So, but those are gonna be like eight to a thousand. I, I realize some people's jaws are probably on the floor if they're still even watching. Like, how is it that expensive? Um, that's just kind of what things cost that are like really, really high quality. They're going to last you years and years and years. And like I said, if look, if it doesn't make money, if these boots won't make you money, it might not make sense for you to buy them. Um, and I, you know, through my current gig, I, I paid half price. So anyway... Hopefully this helps a little bit. I don't know, you know, uh, for the, the other reviews, there's only a couple. I watched a couple of them. They didn't really seem that informative. I'm just saying though, the leather's good. Hardware's good. These are good. The stitching appears very nice. It's made in America. And uh, there's other information as well. I guess you can probably go to the website, but in any event, so I'll show you up for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you folks have a good rest of your day. Bye now.